Hey everyone, what's going on today? I got 127 CGC graded slabs to go over with you guys. So I'm starting off here. This stack is cars that we I already sold. I listed it the day before I got everything and we got some cool little sales. This is actually a Korean card here. Very cool. Vioplume GX in a 10. Alolan Ninetales Secret Rare in a, G, in a 10. This is from Guardians Rising. Um, really cool to get the shiny version and the secret rare version and ending on the card for okay now that we got that all the way we can go into the the rest of the submissions so very happy with the results of this one i did economy for this one instead of bulk and i think it might have impacted the grading a little bit but you can see these 10 these pristine tens here for these uh ex full arts have a huge premium these cards are hard to find in mint condition nowadays this one was a little sad. We got a 9.5 on it. I really don't think it should have got that. It's in perfect condition. Um, and then we got a Venusaur EX. Here's the best grade of the submission. We got a Mega Gyarados Pristine 10. This is this card's crazy right here. The, <laughs> it looks so good with that Pristine 10 label. We got a Umbreon EX from Fates Collide. Eevee from Legendary Treasures. So even if these get nine grades, these cards do not have easy, easy grading because like the corners from the factory usually come dinged up. So even getting a nine on that card or an eight five increases the price a decent a bit, a decent amount. And then we got a Mega Gardevoir EX and a nine five. We got the Dialga Secret Rare from Phantom Forces graded the near mint eight point five. Mega Gardevoir EX pristine ten, really good there. Fates Collide Umbreon. We got Mega Gengar. Shaman EX. Mewtwo from Evolutions. And then we got Xerneas. Pristine Xerneas. This is a pop one card here. This is the only one in the world in a pristine 10. Very, very cool. We got Mewtwo from Hidden Fates. And we got a couple Hidden Fates cards here. We got a Ho-Oh. A Noivern Pristine 10, beautiful. Leafeon GX. Galatian GX Shiny. And ending that stack with the Pristine 10 Alolan Ninetales. Okay, now. Next stack here, we got Alolan Ninetales in a 10. We got Reshiram GX in a 10. Not one, but two. I think there's a couple more Reshirams here. We got a nine, two nines on that one. Was there another 10? Oh, there's a pristine 10. Okay, very nice. And Sizer GX in a 10. You can see we did very, very well. I'm very picky with the cards I send. You know, everything I send, I pretty much assume it will grade a 10. You know, sometimes you don't get the exact results for everything. But you can't complain. Got lots of great 10s here in pristines. We got this Tabu Finny. And then we got a Vioplume GX. That looks really good in the pristine label. We have a Burning Shadows Machamp with an 8.5. Houndoom Secret Rare. Last stack here of this one. We got Charizard GX Metal Card 8.5. We got two of those with the same grade. I thought those would have gotten nine. Oh well. Sometimes there's little scratches on these cards or dings that you can't see in person unless you're in really good lighting. And then we got a Galarian Articudo. We got a Jigglypuff Secret Rare. Oh yeah, this one's really nice. Arceus Dialga Palkia in a gem mint 10. Burning Shadows, or Burning Shadows, Unbroken Bonds, Marsha Edo and Machamp. Too many shadows. And we got a nine on that one. Pristine 10 on the Sil Valley GX. This is actually the alt art, but the secret rare version. Then we got a, another gem mint 10 and a Mew EX in a gem mint 10. The Scarlet and Violet cards are actually very hard to grade. So there is a bit of a premium on that card. I was surprised. And okay, now we got a Charizard EX. As you can see, this is, I did not think this would get a nine, but let me take a look at the back. Yeah, the Scarlet and Violet is tough, man. It really, really is. We got a, the Birds, the Hidden Fates promo and a Pristine 10, two of them. We got a 10 there and then another Pristine. So we got three Pristine 10s there. We have two Charizard VMAX and Pristine 10s. Lovely looking card there. I swear, the pristine 10s make these cars look so much cooler. <laughs> and we got a Charizard GX, Clara. We got a Cheryl um, pristine 10, Jesse and James. We got one 
Don't mind that nine there. Oh, we got a pristine 10. We got two pristine tens. That's right. Two pristine tens of the Jesse and James. And we actually got some more Sun and Moon Full Arts here with some Gemmin 10s. These are big to get in the tens. Imposters set up. And then we got a Underground Expedition. Sorry, so much stuff is on my mind right now. I'm having a hard time even pronouncing each one of these cards. Guzma Gemmin 10. Hala Pristine 10. This is not a... This, there's not very many pristine tens in this one. I can't remember if it's a pop one or a two or something like that. We got a team skull grunt from Sun and Moon Base. A Cerola from Burning Shadows 8-5. Burning Shadows, very hard set to grade. But then we got a Lily from Sun and Moon Base set in a gem mint 10. Charmander and Charmeleon gem mint 10. Hidden Fates, that's a nice little grade there. And then there was a little bit of disappointment in this submission. So actually, I'll have to set these two cards aside because I don't have them listed. So these were supposed to be marked as air cards. They have incomplete texture. on. When you feel the card, there is no texture at all. So very surprised that this didn't get the air. It was a mistake by CGC, but you know, you can't always be perfect. I'll just get in contact with them and have those resubmitted on my next one. So we have a Jolteon V here. Um, 9.5 on these Sword and Shield promos are pretty good because they do not come with the best quality control. And you'll see here, we did hit a 10 on one of them, which is very, very nice. The pristine 10 versions of these alt art promos are crazy expensive. Now we move into a little bit of vintage here. We got a Dragonites, a reverse Charmander from Power Keepers. Got the Mint 9. We got a couple more here. We got Charmander from EX Crystal Guardians, 9.5. So close to the 10. Hitmon Lee from Expedition. Nice, 9 there. Magikarp hits the 8. Bulbasaur, 8.5. That artwork is fantastic there. And, okay, got a little <laughs> little bit of the stuff they use to package the cards there. We got a Abra Mint 9. And then here we go. We got a 10 in the Skip Loom. Very, very nice. And then a Cyndaquil 10, which is the best out of all of those. Really like that artwork, especially with the 10. Um, moving along, we got a Gloom in a 9 5. Dragonite from Fossil in a Near Mint 8. Very good grade. Happy with this one. Holofoil is super clean on this card. Next up, we got a Rockets Zapdos in an 8.5. And the ending on the Vintage, we got a Clefairy from Base Set 2. Groudon Secret Rare from EX Hidden Legends. This got the Gem Mint 10, and I'm very happy this one did. This card, hollow, no scratches. The back... Very, very good. There's like one little white dot there, and that's it. Very, very gem mint card here. So happy with that grade. And then we got a Salamence from EX Delta Species Reverse Hollow. So cool. Another gem mint 10. And then the Tyranitar got a 9, unfortunately, but still love that artwork. Super cool and happy with the grade. We got the Rocket Gang, so that you can see this Grimer is actually banned because it looks like he's looking up this girl's skirt. So this is banned. The artwork was banned from English, and they changed his eyes to looking forward. And then we got a Flareon Gem Mint 10. Very nice card here. Dark Hypno has a swirl right here. Got the Mint 9. And the last Vintage card, we got a Dark Gyarados from Rocket Game, or an English Team Rocket Gem Mint 9. Which, CGC is a little harder on grading the Vintage Japanese, I found out, because that card is... It's perfect. I'm so surprised it got a 9. Now, we got a lot of tag team and some sun and moon in this stack. Very excited to show you guys these ones. We got a couple Piplup secret rares here in the 10. These character rares. I knew these would do well. I had probably 20 of these cards. And out of all those 20, I was only able to grade these ones here. And you can see all of them got the 10 except that 195. We got a Sogaleo in the Gemmin 10. And then an Unbroken Bonds Lucario Melmetal Pristine 10. Oh my gosh, that's a perfect card there. And then, yeah, someone already bought one of these tag teams. Someone reached out to me on eBay. They were saying, hey, do you got any of these other ones in a pristine 10? And sadly, I didn't. They are trying to collect every regular GX tag team in a pristine 10, which is very, very cool. That'll look so awesome once you have every single one. Blastoise and Piplup was one on his list, but you can see here, look, unfortunately, it just got the Gem Mint 10. Still very good card, though. And then we got the birds here in a Gem Mint 10. Oh, dropping a couple slabs here. Um, some more birds. We got another 10. Pristine 10. I forgot I got a pristine 10 in one of these. Very, very nice. And then we got Charizard from Hidden Fates. The regular GX. We got one, two, 
three, four pristine tens in this card. And I'm very happy with that because again, this was another one where I have probably like 50 of these that I went through and I picked out only four of them and they all hit the pristine. Very, very happy with that. And here are the last four of the submission. We got a Sil Sylveon VMAX, Umbreon VMAX from B Brilliant Stars. And then we got the pristine 10 Umbreon VMAX ending on the Umbreon V Trainer Gallery. That's going to be all for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. It was fun to go through this all. If you guys are interested in anything, I have my Instagram in the description and my eBay store. You can reach out on either one. Thank you all. Later.